Hello, welcome. And this is the next video in the series of learning about ERP system. And we have been taking the example of SAP as our ERP system, which we have considered here for explaining some of the functionalities. So this lecture is about the materials management module. And we will look into a general functionality of what materials management is all about by considering the example of SAP and if you take uh, the MM it contains many aspects of SAP functionality some of them include like purchasing goods receiving material storage so the beginning of the function the beginning of the activities as discussed in previous lecture will happen with the purchasing and once the purchasing has happened after identifying the vendor and all uh, the goods has to be received you will identify the vendor based on the requirement for that material and then there was a purchase order which was being generated and after the purchase order what you got was the receipt of the good so once the goods has been received you will have to make arrangement for the material storage so in a company this activity will also be carried by the materials management team and then there are management of inventory and consumption based planning which has to be done and it is seen that in sap well, or the materials management module in any ERP system will have to be highly integrated with other modules like production planning. So based on the requirement for the production of any material, any product, there will be requirement of certain materials which will have to be met. And again, there will be sales and distribution. So based on the order for the material, like you have received the order from the customer for manufacture or order for a product so based on that you will have to produce that and for that there will be certain material requirement again there will be quality management which will come so the material which you are receiving from the vendor that will have to be checked for the quality and if it is not as per the quality is there damage not as per the requirement or standards then it will have to be returned and there will have to be some quality management. Also, it will deal with the reduced material and their storage and the quality check which will happen. So again, the quality management will be integrating with the materials there. And then there is a plant maintenance or usually the maintenance activities or the maintenance order which will happen and the project system or the project management which will happen. So the production order and the project orders or the cost objects will be highly having material requirement. So if you are having the maintenance of any equipment, it will require a certain amount of material consumption for that activity to be happen. Also, while working in certain projects, you will have certain amount of material requirement. So these are the areas where material management is highly integrated with and you will need so let's further look into the different flows which will happen in the material management system usually in erp systems like sap the materials management is part of the logistic modules so the logistic modules consist of a group of different sub modules like the project system the material management the plant maintenance the warehouse management and the logistic will have its own information system which will have the different reports for the reporting purpose. Also, it will have the inventory management and the material management. So again, while talking of the logistics, you will have to see that the logistics is divided into two sub areas. And one of them is the logistic and the other is the supply chain. You are the important definitions which will come under the materials management while you are considering any ERP system. And again, the materials management will include five different flows or three different flows. The one is the flow of how the material will flow within the company. The second will be the how the information will flow in the company. And the third will be the how the financial will flow. 
So while you are procuring certain material, that the material will move from the vendor and it will move to the storage location. It will have it will again move to the production and it will finally be moving out of the company as a final product. So that is a flow how the material could flow. And the other is how the information will flow. Each and every movement of the material from outside the company, from inside outside the company to the inside and again as a final product will have certain amount of information like the vendor who, from whom the material is being procured. The material is being going to which which storage location. Again, it will have impact like a financial movement, like the financial flow could be like if the material is coming in the company, you'll have to pay something. So there will be a debit and a credit happening here. So again, when you are producing a final product and that is in your storage location or warehouse and you are selling that, the material is being moved out of your inventory and again, it is a sales for the customer of your company. So you will be gaining some amount of money. So there will be a flow of material, there will be flow of information and there will be flow of financial when you are considering the material management systems. And as I has previously said, the full material management, if you, if you go through the previous lectures, you will see the procure to pay cycle and the order to cash cycle. So these are the two main cycles which will deal with the flow of the material for the procurement and for the production in any company. So let me discuss how the material could be flowing or uh, the, the movement of the material or the material flow as part of the material management could happen. So while I talk about the material flow, what I mean to say is that the material flow is a part of a business process which can be documented and which can be managed within an organization using an ERP. And that ERP could be SAP or Oracle, anything, but I'm considering the example of SAP here. So considering the material flow is same as covered in the previous lecture for the procure to pay cycle. So you will have a requirement for a material and the requirement can happen in areas like production planning, where there is a requirement for a production, which can again come from the areas like sales, where you have received a sales order and that has led to the product, led to the requirement for production of a material production of a new product. So you will need certain materials. Again, there can be a project construction. So the project construction will have certain activities like if you are considering the construction of a building, the milestones could be the activities could be like the construction of the different floors. So for each floor, you will need certain materials. So by the time you have reached that activity, you will need certain the reservations for the material or the requirement for the material that has been assigned will be created as requisitions or the purchase requisition. That is another area from where the requirement can come. So it can come from the sales side as a sales order or, per, or from the planning side for the production team, or it can come from the project side, or it can come from the store side, which has certain planning and they have requ requested, requested for a material. So once a material is been requested, as said, there will be request for quotation and the re the purchase requisition will be now converted to a purchase order. And the purchase after the purchase order, there will be receipt of the good from the vendor which has been selected. And after the goods has been received, it has to go through quality check by the quality management team. And once the material has been received and has been checked for quality, what you will need you you will need to know, do is that now this material will now this material will move to the warehouse so the warehouse management will come into picture and the inventory management modules or the inventory management area will also come into picture here so you will have to manage the flow of material here and this is how the material flow will happen. And this can be documented by the material management module or the material management area of the ERP system. Important component which you will consider while doing the materials management is a flow of information. So one thing to think is that if you are having an ERP system, then everything should happen in the real time and it should happen automatically. So while you have received the material, 
some entries should happen in the finance automatically. So, and again, once the material is produced and there is a sales order associated with it, then that the so sales team should easily know and the order should be ready to be processed. So all such checks should happen automatically and this, the actions which result in this is usually known as information flow. So suppose there is a sales order and the material is not available. And the then automatically the requisition should be created based on this. That is the MRP or the material requirement planning teams tool will do that. And the material requirement planning is an activity which will automatically create the requisitions or the requirements for the material and based on which requisitions will be created and the purchase of the material will be done. So the MRP, once the material is purchased and is available in the stock, and only then the production can commence. So if there is a order for a product like a truck which is to be manufactured, then there will be certain spare parts which are necessary and only once that material is purchased and is available in stock, that can be done as per the production order based on the sales order. And again, once the material has been pro produced and is available in the warehouse, it can be shipped as the material will be available for the invoice to the customer or for the delivery to the customer. So this kind of information flow should happen automatically. And this is the second part after the flow of the material in a material management system using ERP, the flow of the information should happen automatically. And the next step is the flow of how the finance will take place. Again, while talking about the integration or the financial flow, the two important flow of the finance into the company and out of the company is whenever the goods is coming into the company and the goods receipt has been done, the goods has been received by the company, the vendor will supply an invoice to the company and that invoice has to be paid back. So that is one step where the payment to the vendor will happen and that will as soon as the invoice is uh, there will be debit and the credit entries will happen so for that you will have to see the movements in the financial ledgers i will not go into detail of that but you will have to pay the vendor and that payment can be done automatically by transfer to the bank or it can be check or whatever method which has been uh, given by the vendor. Again, when you are supplying the material which you have produced, you will have to pay back or you will have you will receive some payment from the customer for the invoice which you are supplying to the customer. So that's one another area where the financial flow will happen and this will happen in real time integration. Again, when you are talking about orders like cost orders or the project construction projects which are being managed. So for each and every material movement, like the material invoice receipt or the material receipt, a finance budget consumption will happen from the project side. So this will, this kind of reporting will give the management or the manager who is responsible for the project, a detailed overview of the project finance situation or the budget consumption and the commitment and what is the actual and what is the remaining orders for the project. So again, this is how the financial flow will be integrated with the materials movement and it can be easily documented or it can be easily managed by the material management modules in the ERP systems. Again, for materials management to while configuring for the configuring the material management module for the ERP system, you will have to define certain hierarchical structures or the configurations for the organization which you are defining. So while talking about the SAP, the each SAP landscape will be having a client which will be the top level, and all the data in that client will be client specific like the materials management if you are having a thousand companies under a client and you are creating a material master recorder or a vendor in that client it will be valid for all the company codes of that client so 
it's up to the business or up to the choice for the company to have different clients for different companies while they are having designing the ERP solution or doing the blueprinting. Again, while you are having, you can define the organization in ways like you could have a comp client, then you could have the company and the company could have company could be at a group level and the company could have multiple company codes and each company code could have like a company code will be a could be a physical company which will be located at a x location if you say it could be located in pune and another company code of the same group could be located in a location like mumbai so there could be two company codes at different locations based on the physical companies or the manufacturing unit there and again once you have that company codes there could be sub areas like plant in that company code and the plant could be an operational area where a certain manufacturing process could be happening and that plant could be subdivided into what is known as storage location and the storage location is the area where the material will be kept and in stock and from that storage location it can be consumed for the project or it can be consumed for stock purpose so this is how the storage of or this is how you will define the organizational structure in the erp system or the sap system while you are configuring for a client for the material management system so these are the basic things which needs to be present 